The time is now 5.43. The Roanoke City Police Department is now equipping its officers with body cameras, and the department has deployed more than 150 video cameras that can record interactions between police officers and the public. WDBJ7's Joe DeShiel is in the studio this morning to talk about this new technology with Roanoke Police Chief Chris Perkins. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, Kimberly. This didn't happen overnight. The department started looking closely at body cameras a year and a half ago, and it's now outfitted and trained almost all of its uniformed officers. Officers. Chief of Police Chris Perkins came in this morning to answer our questions. Thank, Chief, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Pleasure. So why did you think this was a direction the department needed to consider? Well, as with any profession, you've got to keep up with the technology. And the idea is that we believe this is a great way to collect evidence. This is a great way to show interactions with police officers. And uh, so we started looking at this about uh, a year and a half ago. Uh, that was sped up. Of course, we were going to give ourselves about two to three years. We sped that up because of the incidents that happened around the country involving uh, police and community interactions. And so uh, we pushed that forward, and it, we brought about our camera program uh, so we could, uh, you know, work towards building some trust with the community. So, you know, so what are the big benefits that you see coming from a system like this? Well, I, I think first and foremost, it, it's not the, the answer to all the questions, but what it will do, it, it will pr provide an unbiased view of interactions between police and the people that they have interactions with. And uh, we think that um, in doing this, it shows the community that we're just a, a, as human as they are. Uh, will we make mistakes? Of course, we'll make mistakes. But the idea is, I think you'll see that you've got a very professional agency in the Roanoke Police Department, uh, and it will show overwhelmingly that we're doing everything that we can out here in our community. And I guess it will help you get to the truth when you have a difference of opinion about what may have happened in a the situation. Absolutely. It's that unbiased view that we have from, from the video. The video will show. Did this happen the way that people perceive it as happening? Memory is difficult for police and citizens. Uh, this provides that that secondary or collection of evidence ability. We have. And quickly, you said this is not a silver bullet. What do you mean by that? Well, it's not going to be the answer to everything. The camera may have a different angle. It may not capture all that has occurred before or after after an incident. Uh, the idea is, though, that it gives the best representation possible, and it's one more tool for the community and the police to consider when they're evaluating a situation. Thank you, Chief. we got a lot more to talk about. Kimberly, the department had some very specific requirements for this system. Some of those features might surprise you, and we're going to talk more about that in the next half hour. Yeah, I like what Chief said about everybody's memory is different, even if they all witness the same thing. Very interesting. All right, thanks.